Hydrogen has long been considered the bane of the nation. In the 1930s, it blew up a Zeppelin, but now the nation's leaders are looking toward it for a new use, a safe fuel for transportation. Now, I know what you're thinking. Flying cars? Why, that doesn't make a bit of sense. Of course not. No one would do that. That's a stupid idea. No, hydrogen is slowly becoming the fuel of the future. The nation's leading distributors are, in fact, readying a hydrogen fuel source just in time for the arrival of the future. I'm apparently here with California Senator Bill Matchell, long agreed Washington's cutest little senator. Senator? Yes. What would you say the advantages are to having hydrogen as the country's next big fuel source? I'd say the benefits for the environment. <laughs> That's great. But what of this powerful new hydrogen lobby? They're rumored to be able to gain supporters using less money and energy than the average lobby. Yes? Let's roll the clip. This isn't a talk show, Senator. We Sorry, I've just been told that might not be entirely true. Let's run the clip. What's up, bro? Hello. Clean energy. You've got my vote. Rock on! Oh. As interesting as that was, No, that sounds great. It sounds really good. Just make sure that it is um, placed above the line so we can see what's being stated and promoted there. And I'm here at Shell Hydrogen, a prominent research and development facility for hydrogen. With me is Larissa De Laurentiis, head yeah, researcher. I will get back to you. Hello. Hi. Hello. What sort of progress has been made lately in the world of hydrogen research? Well, let's start with this. What would that be? This is our new logo. And we have t-shirts also, and I'm going to give you a couple of these to take home with you. It's a circle. This is an atomic shell, like hydrogen has, because it has atoms. Gasoline has atoms, too, Ms. Delorentis. Yes, um, but those are dangerous atoms in gasoline. Maybe I have the wrong building. I'm looking for research and no, development. No, 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 you're, you're in the right place. Okay, can, can I see your laboratories then? Laboratories. Um, and then we do have a soundtrack also. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yo, what's up, bro? Indeed. Can you explain to me in words, not pamphlets, exactly what sort of progress is made in the world of hydrogen lately? Um, so like, okay, um, oil companies, they're like drug dealers, man, and uh, we gotta stop the drugs. Okay. Yeah. Dig it? Okay, yeah. so you've got all these senators on your side now and they're oh, yeah, to totally, bro. to help end the inner yeah, corruption dig, dig of it? the government. Well, no, like, um, Arabs, they're, they're, they control the oil, so they're like the drug dealers, you know? Let me see your vest. What? Why? Let, let no, me see hey, your vest. Hey, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to back off. Lycra? Lycra? Where's the hemp? Huh? Where's the hemp? Thanks, Bob. That's right, hydrogen lobbyists, the bane of the nation. I I'm sorry? This, according to the White House, world peace has just been declared due to the discovery of hydrogen. That's right. The discovery of hi That's right. World peace and the discovery of hydrogen. I'm Jason Klom. Good night.